welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan Shea, and if you are new here, subscribe. Consider subscribing. Join a part of our family. And also, if you do join a part of our family, when we get to 100 subscribers here, we are having a 100 subscriber giveaway, and I want all of you all to be included in that. Also, there will be a secret emoji somewhere in this video. I don't know where, so watch the whole video to find out. And if you put that secret emoji down in the comment section down below, it will give you an extra entry into my 100 subscriber giveaway, which we are over halfway there too. So if you stop by to watch this tutorial, subscribe. If you wanna see how I got this look, keep on watching. So there is no really rhyme or reason to what I'm doing today. I will be sure to have every product on the screen in case I do forget to mention what I'm using and also where I get it from. So yeah, I have already went ahead and done my brows and I have already primed my lid. I do always use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is in shade 3.5. This is my absolute favorite and I'm gonna tell you why really quickly. I do like the angled top on the brow pencil. Just a Morphe brush to cut the brow and I use the Kevin Kwan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is in the shade SX01. This is the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow primer. Now keep in mind you guys, all of my products are going to be dirty because I use my products. So. In the tail of the brow, I will go in with the tinted brow gel. This is the Benefit Give Me Brow in shade three. And I will use a clear brow gel on the front portion of my brow. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And when I open this, you will see it is dual sided with the, br with the bristles. So you have small bristles on this side and larger bristles on that side. I've just been going through this bottle. This is not my all time go to, but this is the one that I'm going through right now. Typically for me, I do prefer the Too Faced lip injection, but I'm gonna finish this bottle before I move on. This is the Iconic London Lip Plumper. This is in the shade Peekaboo. And I will say that you do not get that tingling feeling like you do with Too Faced lip injection. I will go ahead and let you know that now. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and go in with is actually a sample. This is Good Molecules. I've never heard of this. Silicone free priming moisturizer. I'm going to use it as a moisturizer and not as a primer. I will go in with the primer as well. And then also I'm gonna go ahead and put my Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I preach about this stuff, you guys. I absolutely love this stuff and I have me a new bottle on its way and I'm so excited. So now going in with my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Volume 2 palette. And I'm going in with a Morphe brush. It looks like this. I'm gonna go in with the shade Certified and I'm going to go ahead and set my eyeshadow primer. This is a step that you do not have to do. I just prefer to do it. And I think a very important part to keep in mind when doing your makeup, guys, is that there is no right or wrong way. So now moving on to a larger blending brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Love Handles, which is this shade right here. A little bit above the crease, actually. Now going in with a tapered blending brush, like this one right here from Morphe. These came in an eye set, uh, like an eye brush kit set from Morphe, so I don't have the exact like shade names. But I am going to go ahead and go in with the shade Heart On, which is this one right here. And I'm actually gonna put this at, like right on the crease. It's very pigmented. I 
I am just gonna kinda go back and forth with the two brushes and just make sure all of those lines are blended in. And I will go in with a little bit more love handles if I feel like I've lost the color a little bit. Is I'm gonna take a smaller taper brush like this one right here. This is also a Morphe brush. I'm telling you guys, like they're my favorite. And I'm gonna take Living My Best, which is this beautiful red shimmer shade. And I'm gonna put that in the inner and outer corners. And then again, just going back in with that same brush. Take the Kevin Kwan Concealer. And I'm gonna take another uh, Morphe brush, just like the one, ignore my spray tan, you guys. Um, just like the one that I used on my brows, and I'm going to create the Spotlight Cut Crease, just by adding this right here in. Okay, y'all, sorry, I ended up changing my mind. Um, you'll see, uh, because I will leave in the edit, I did go ahead and do a full cut crease. I just changed my mind. I'll be right back to put on the shimmer shade. And voila, just like that, you guys. What really took me 10 minutes happened in a blink of an eye for you guys. Um, so I did go back in with a little bit more of the Living My Best back just to kind of blend it in and to make it not look so, you know, the harsh lines, all of that. Okay, so now I'm going to take one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. This is by ColourPop. This is their Super Shock Shadow in the shade Lady Bird. It is, mmm, you to miss so. I'm gonna take it on a flat synthetic brush by Morphe. I am just gonna take the shade Lady Bird on this flat synthetic Morphe brush and put it right on the cut crease. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do it with my finger at first. Yes, much better. And now I'm just going to replicate what I have over here on this side. Next, y'all, I figure we'll just have a little bit of fun. I am gonna go in with the ColourPop Glitter Palette. Um, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this shade right here to the inner corner, just to have a little bit of fun. So first, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. You do not need much of this stuff, you guys. It is so potent. So this is what you should have going there, and I'm gonna go ahead and replicate it on the other side. And boom, we have our eyeshadow look. So now let's move on. So for primer today, I am gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And you really don't need that much of this, you guys. I'm literally going in with like a pump. This is a really tacky primer. If you've never used it before, it is very hydrating. I love the way that it makes my skin feel. Next, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Peach. And I am just going to color correct. As you guys can see, I have pretty bad high pigmentation, so I do like to color correct every single day, especially like around the nose and on all of these 
like high pigmented areas that get really high pigmented for me, which is all around the nose, right here on my cheeks, which I know I have all these beauty lights around me, so you guys really can't, I mean, you can kind of see, but not like it really is. I mean, it's crazy. Then, you guys, I'm gonna go in with the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Full Coverage Foundation Concealer. With this foundation, this is my brand new favorite foundation. I love this, you guys. This is like the bomb.com. But with this foundation, let's see, it is Blue Light Defense, Anti-Pollution, Blue Zone, Cruelty-Free, Gluten-Free, Vegan-Friendly, like everything. And you can either use the top or you can, it has like a doe foot applicator, which is what I prefer to use. Um, also, you guys, I'm about to put on the screen right now, the shade range. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, look at this shade range. I seen that for the first time and I was like, wow, <laughs> that's so good. Anytime they put a foundation on sale on Ulta, it scares me and makes me think that they're gonna get rid of it. Let me tell you something. If Pure Cosmetics gets rid of this foundation, I'm gonna be so upset. And the fact that every single beauty guru on the internet is not talking about this foundation, that's also weird to me because let me tell you something. This shit should be going viral, for real. And I heard about it through um, Raw Beauty Christy. And guys, I know that you all hate having music over the videos. You all gripe about it all the time. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to have music over this video um, because Chris is home and life goes on. And so I don't want you all to hear like all kinds of stuff in the background. So unfortunately there will be music, I'm sorry. Next, we are gonna go in with the Morphe Fluidity Concealer in shade C1.25. And like I've said many times, even in my last makeup tutorial, which was an ASMR tutorial. No, it wasn't. No, I think it was in my, my monthly favorites, that's right. If Morphe was trying to really like combat the formula, that Morphe hair or that uh, Tarte has with Shape Tape, this is it. And typically, you all, I always will buy Tarte Shape Tape anyways, even with having like an extra foundation. I'm seriously debating on leaving in. <laughs> The conversation me and Chris just had, he's literally down here watching TV. And I was like, can you shut up? <laughs> he was like, well, can you get me this, 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 and this? So now my concealer has like partially dried. But as you can see, we're not having any trouble. It's still moving. I'm also gonna go in with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. That's not what I wanna share with you all. I wanna share with you all a product that I seen Bailey Sarian use. And she was like, oh, well I don't, you know, suggest it because it's like $20, blah, blah, blah. But like I seen the way that it blended out her foundation or her powder and I'm like, no, I need one. It's by Beauty Blender. You guys, I found this Beauty Blender uh, like powder sponge. It has a little place for your fingers right here. And it also has the little elastic. I prefer in the little, area down here um i found it for 15 dollars on amazon you guys amazon prime i got it the very next day absolutely freaking lootly it is amazing you all know how i am about setting my face you all know that i don't like necessarily bake like i don't leave any extra powder on my face but i do set my entire face this little poof is absolutely genius and as i've told you all before i do not go for the beauty blender because it's twenty dollars okay and it does the same exact thing that my eco tool sponge does and you all know how i feel about the eco tool sponge so it's not really my cup of tea but this right here i can get behind 
And so yeah, if you're interested in this and you've seen like Bailey Sarian use it and you're like, dang, I want it, but I'm not spending $20. I got it for 15 on Amazon. Been going in with my Charlotte Tilbury with this poof as well, because I'm not putting any extra powder on. So as you can see, I literally just set my face. There is no extra like on there. What I'm doing is going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in shade One Fair. And I'm gonna go in with this powder with the little Beauty Blender Powder Poof. And just set underneath the eye. Also on the chin and the forehead just for brightening. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 X Morphe palette. And I'm literally just going to go in with the shade Heart On and then put a little bit of Living My Best in the outer part. And then I'm just going to take the blending brush that I use to put uh, love handles up top and I'm just gonna kind of blend this these two in together. So blend the three shades all in together. And I know it looks crazy right now, you guys. That's always what happens. It always looks nuts before it looks better. Now I'm going to take Lady Bird on a pencil brush and I am going to spray it with the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist and put that on the inner corner. And then for bronzer, I'm actually gonna go into the Lily Lashes X Sephora palette. And I'm going to take this bronzing shade just because I do want it to be a really warm, like bronzy glow with the beautiful pinky red eye with all the glitter. I just think that will be beautiful. Beautimus. Now it's time for a beautiful blush. And for the blush, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. Like how beautiful is that? Ugh. Loves it. Loves it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the CoverGirl Clean and Fresh Prep and Set in the scent Rose. And take my powder poof and just press everything into the skin the first time I spray. So I do go in and I spray twice. So the first time again, I am just pressing everything into the skin so we do not look cakey. And then going in again and spraying. And this time we will go in with the highlight. Today we are going to use the Laura Lee Glazed Lit Kit. And I'm going to use the shade Diamonds and Glow Gal. Kind of go mix between the two. That's my favorite way to use it. Woo. These things are so worth it. I literally worth every penny. And I don't wanna blind you all, but this whole front part is mirror. 
And then I am going to take diamonds, just the shade diamonds on a pencil brush and just kind of put that on the brow bone. This is literally my favorite shade to put in on the brow bone and inner corner. It's so beautiful. Now y'all, I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. And I'm going to put this on the lower waterline. Next, I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite mascara, the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof Mascara in black. Next, I'm gonna line my lips with Strip Down by MAC. Then, I'm gonna go in with the shade Candy K on my lips. but I will eventually go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mannequin in the middle. For my lash glue, I do go in with the Duo Lash Glue, and I am gonna go in with the DY Silk 002 Lashes. These are from Amazon. I do already have a pack right here in the case, so I'll just show you what they look like. All of them in here are the same, and you do get five sets of lashes for $7. I have already worn these once, so as you can see, they do wear very well. Okay, y'all, and just as I did say before, I am gonna take Mannequin. This is just like... my favorite. So yeah, guys, I hope you did. Um, by the way, I'm not bald. I have my little space bun up here. So yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this makeup tutorial. I do love you guys so much, and be sure that you do put the secret emoji down in the comment section down below for an extra entry into my 100 subscriber giveaway. This video's shout out goes to this channel right here. Do be sure to subscribe to their channel. Leave them some lipstick emojis so that they know that you came from the Morgan Shea Beauty Gang. And if you do have any video recommendations or something that you do want to see, do be sure to leave it down in the comment section down below. And until next time, I love you guys so very much.